These are the channels that provided me with the most value when I was trying to learn data science and machine learning. And whenever I go back to learn things again, I always go back to these same resources. Now, number one is three blue, one brown. This is where I want to get a high level overview of something. And if I really, really don't know what it is, then I love watching his very long video, just go through and explain the concepts in a way I'll actually understand. For example, when I was really confused about neural networks, I watched his video series on that several, several times over, and eventually it finally kicked in after all the great visuals and explanations. Also, he has videos about many, many things, often very mathy. When I was going through university and learning these different concepts, like for example, the Fourier transform, he was at the top of my list. Okay, next up to bat is Ken G. You've likely heard of him if you're in the machine learning space. He was a huge inspiration to me when I was making my channel and well, still continue to. As Ken and I are in a very similar niche, eventually our paths crossed and we are now good friends. I love talking to him. He's super wise, super knowledgeable, super, super kind, and well, very, very strong. Anyways, enough about flattering him. He is awesome. Go check out his Ken Sneer's Neighbors podcast, which I was actually on, and he has some great concepts in the data science space. Number three is Code Emporium, and he's actually a friend of mine as well. He is extremely, extremely skilled at deep learning. So if you go and look at his videos, you've likely seen them. If you've looked up super niche things about how transformers and LSTMs work, he has phenomenal videos explaining these concepts. And I've looked at his stuff whenever I've really, really wanted to understand something. I don't know how he does it, but his skills are crazy in that area. Number four is probably the most famous person on this list, although you may not know that they have a YouTube channel. I apologize for butchering your name potentially, but you're famous enough that I'm sure you don't care. Andrej Karpathy, he has an amazing YouTube channel explaining some of the things that he did, and he is extremely well known in the world of research and artificial intelligence. He's been on some of the biggest podcasts explaining his stuff, and uh, he's just an absolute genius and also explains it very well. So definitely check out his channel. I want to throw a special one in here, and it's going to sound like a bit of an advertisement, although that's definitely not the case. It's my YouTube channel, and I'm not trying to say how awesome my channel is. I'm not trying to say go watch my channel, which you're literally on right now. I'm trying to say in terms of like actually getting value out of machine learning YouTubers, well, making my own channel was probably the most valuable of any of that, because that's how I really cemented the knowledge is learning it, making tutorials, recording them, editing them, watching them over again and again. It very much cemented the concepts into my brain, and I'd highly recommend you do the same if you ever felt the courage to do so. And sorry, it's not just courage to do so. You might have the courage to do so, but just really don't want to or don't have the time. That's totally fine. I just do recommend like learning yourself and then practicing it as much as you possibly can. Okay, number five is probably the reason that I did so well in my machine learning courses at the University of Waterloo. And you've almost certainly heard of them, but if not, you should definitely check them out. StatQuest with Josh Starmer, man, his videos are just phenomenal. He explains stuff so well. His voice is just so nice to listen to, gotta be honest. And uh, he has just a lot of videos on the topics, a lot of stuff that is very theory-based and a lot of stuff that's just general and helps you understand it. So really, regardless of what you're trying to do, I'd very much recommend his channel. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments who you would have added as well, or maybe who you would have expected here. Uh, drop a comment and I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.